Hello team and welcome back to another line work cast. This is your map today in a 1v1 between Excelsior and Blue. And someone said that my nickname sucks in red. Mostly land, it's connected by this little whatever you want to call this isthmus. Is the word isthmus? I keep saying that during these casts and now I'm going to go look it up after the game and realize this is not what it is at all. Anyway, everything's connected. We got Excelsior down in the bottom. Nickname up top. Both players with a decent amount of eco around them to start the game. And refineries like energy sources. And Nickname's gone for two towns with a port. Actually, three towns and a port immediately for red. So a very heavy eco opener from Nickname. And three airports for Excelsior. With the barracks as a follow-up. And it's all bombers out of these airports for blue. The range of the bombers we can see... On these red lines if we press tab we get the the range indicators so they will be close enough to attack at least this one town probably this other town with the port on it as well just because even if bombers get sent here a few of them will drift but it doesn't really take away from the fact that this is a lot of eco for red and and none for blue to start the game so over time and right off the bat really nickname is gonna have a economic advantage it's 310 income for Excelsior and 435 for nickname which isn't necessarily a bad thing for blue in this situation it just means that these bombers have to do damage they have to be worth the investment nickname's got two barracks and an airport and a factory being built in part you know aided by all of this economy that nickname has already built Building these in that location, like, it's easier for these red buildings to, like, push towards the center of the map. And I'm interested to see what sort of plane Nickname decides to build. I suspect it'll be commandos for a commando drop. There's commandos out of the barracks already. Relatively decent chance that we will see a transport jet from red. Which can be used to expand to the right-hand side without having to walk through the middle to get there. And also... The bottom left by where Excelsior is, who has three bombers now complete. Neither player will know where the other one is exactly at this point in the game. And we wait. 500 income for red, 310 for blue. Excelsior still does have this town and port that could be built by one of these airports. There's also another relatively safe town in the bottom left if Blue decides to take that. And Excelsior has a very easy second refinery to set up since Blue took this water territory with the gas. And it is a transport drop from nickname. This is the command that Red is going for. To start going towards the bottom right side of the map. There's a lot of territory down here. There are three towns as well. And the first tank for... Or the first tank. The first factory for nickname is building a tank. Second factory. Likely going to be a tank. Maybe a SAM. Artillery piece is probably the least likely here. And it is a tank. For red. Nearly six bombers done for blue. And Excelsior already putting down this second refinery. Which will be useful once there are more bombers and once they're in the air moving. But I, I mean, I also, when I play on ladder, I prefer to just build my refineries a little bit more quickly. Because I will inevitably just forget to build the second one and then be in a situation where I'm out of energy and can't move my units. Which never feels good. First refinery is now down for nickname as the first transport jet takes off. And top down, a little bit more territory capped for red. And 360 income for blue and 583 for nickname. Who is putting down a third factory in this forest. This will be a very strong army that Nickname's able to generate out of these five production buildings, excluding the airport. 
three factories and two barracks. And still the only real ground producing unit or building that Excelsior has is this one barracks, which is building commandos. Second refinery finishes up for Excelsior and Excelsior will start l launching some of the bombers. It's only these two f rightmost airports that the bombers are launching off of. So I suspect that this command is just slightly out of range of the leftmost airport and that's exactly what we're seeing. Potentially a little bit of a scout with these bombers. The commandos got landed. Parachuted out and are making their way down to the bottom right. And three tanks now for Nickname moving towards the center of the map. It's helicopters after the first two transport jets for Red. And a depot to start carrying some of this energy. I suppose it's actually just one transport jet for Nickname. It's not two. Yeah, it's just one transport jet and now it's a helicopter and a second helicopter as well. Nickname is going to land on the left side of the map with this second run of the transport jet. And very quickly we'll start seeing Red take some capping in the bottom right and likely put down a barracks to generate more infantry or commandos to speed up how quickly Red can take all that territory. And this is a very good position I, I think that nickname is in, leaving this like quote unquote early game of this line war match at 673 economy. Nearly 250 higher than blue. The bombers could still do damage. They could do a, a decent amount of damage if they were sent towards this force, but there's of course no way that Excelsior would know that this is where Nickname's base is. But there's no interceptors, and there's no SAMs for Red at the moment, so the bombers would do very well. Second transport plane now for Nickname, who has enough commandos waiting by the airport in order to launch. First SAM also finishes for Red. And it would seem that the plan for Nickname is to go tanks out of these two factories and, and Sam's out of this third factory. So nine bombers for blue. I guess it's actually going to be six. Again, this uh, the leftmost airport isn't quite in range, or it's rather this dot is out of range of the bombers here. But six bombers are about to show up. They might be able to see most of the buildings in the forest. It's kind of hard to tell. The forest has a stealth characteristic when you build your buildings in it. And this is what Excelsior is seeing. Single tank. Handful of infantry. But it becomes relatively obvious that this is now where Nickname spawned. At the northern part of this choke. The bombers won't actually see anything in the forest. This is turned into an attack command. So instead of the bombers disregarding all these units and heading right towards this dot, they're going to circle and attack what they find. They're going to get one of the tanks, a handful of the infantry. Nicknames landed a transport jet on the top right-hand side of the map. And if we look big picture, it is two barracks and a factory on the bottom right for Nickname with those that first commando drop. Nickname's also got three tanks on the far right side of the map. Doing their best to cap. Excelsior would have seen, I mean, of course, like, it, we get to see where, like, Excelsior's not going to be looking at this part of the screen all the time, this part of the map. But we can see those SAM bursts indicating that there are SAMs in the forest somewhere. And Nickname's got a barracks relatively close to Excelsior's air bases. Probably going to be commandos coming out of that barracks for red. And I feel like I say it every game that we do a cast of Nickname, but we've seen how effective Nickname can be with commandos. And I say it every game we watch a game 
I say it every game we cast of nicknames because every game we cast of nicknames, he just does so good with commandos. And it's relentless commando, you know, backstabs all over the map. And I would expect more of the same this game. A fourth town now for red. By the second refinery. And nickname's actually got an interceptor, two helicopters, and potentially even a third transport. Yeah, it's a third transport jet for red. Income wise, 560 for blue, 843 for nickname. And very soon, Excelsior is going to find themselves a little bit boxed into this, this bottom left part of the map if Nickname can get more of this territory on the right hand side capped, at which point it'll be very difficult for Excelsior to come back in this game. This time, most of the bombers are getting sent out. They will find and very likely destroy the refinery unless these SAMs and interceptors can stop this. Nickname has six more SAMs showing up out of the forest. One interceptor doing its best to take on the bombers. And one of the best things that Excelsior can do here is destroy this refinery and the depot on this first pass. Depot goes down. Nickname will certainly be more prepared for this the next time the bombers launch. A nickname really does have a decent SAM count. In order to prepare for that second wave, the refinery must go down, and it does. One of the towns for nickname is also relatively damaged, but important to note that there's actually no eco damage that Excelsior did there, just damage to the energy for red. So it knocks Nickname down a little bit. We'll probably see a, the second refinery either get rebuilt immediately right there, or if there's another energy source somewhere on the map for Nickname. Two more barracks in a central location for Red, which will further speed up how quickly Red can cap all of that territory and a depot for Excelsior. So certainly for the next little bit, Blue is not going to have to struggle with having the, the required energy to keep these bombers running. It is commandos out of this top left barracks. And nicknames stop the transport jet from being a receiver of this command, which in effect just makes it so that although nickname keeps the command down here, no commando drops are going to happen, but it's nice because Nickname can just click on this command and toggle back a transport jet to be a receiver of the command, and then commando drops would go again. There is a, a tutorial in the game for that, in the advanced topics, I believe, about how to make a command and then, you know, periodically turn off receivers to it while keeping the line. The tutorial would make would show you why you'd want to do that. The, the horrible explanation from me. But I don't think Excelsior can like this will be impressive if Blue comes back in this at this point of the game. Eleven forty eight income for red and six eighty for blue. So nearly double for nickname. Really showing the strength of going for a lot of eco to start the game with that three town, one port start. Excelsior's done a decent job to keep the bomber numbers up. There's about 11 that launch each time. With now interceptors on the way, Excelsior puts down the first two factories 
of their game and there's no more build there's no more airplanes being produced out of these two factories on the or airports on the left hand side it's certainly not income related and it might be because there's no more space on these airports we'll probably see another airstrip at some point for excelsior here relatively quick third factory for blue going for tanks Excelsior doesn't see that these are tanks necessarily here capping, but would be aware that that nickname is taking this territory with some number of units. And a relatively bold drop for nickname that's going to get a very good scout off. It's going to see the airstrip. Nickname is just going to try to target this. Excelsior luckily has commandos in position. If these commandos weren't here, it would be great timing for Nickname to land. I mean, it's still just great timing for Nickname to land just by confirming that this airstrip is exactly where it is. But if there were no blue commandos here, these two red commandos would have been able to destroy that airstrip and then all of the bombers that were sitting on it. Now that Nickname has identified that the airstrip is here, there's more commandos dropping in and these three tanks are just going to make a dash towards the airstrip. It's such a high value target because as mentioned, when you destroy an airstrip or you destroy an airport and there's planes sitting on it, all those planes just explode. And it's a lot of lost money. Especially if it's a full airstrip of five bombers. Two tanks for blue pop out at the best possible time. And because there's no SAM coverage, there's really only this one blue interceptor. Nickname's able to send in the, you know, their own interceptors here. To take on the bombers and get a great scout of where the factories are in this forest. This is the big problem, is that there's, there's now three barracks about to get set up for Nickname in these forests. These bombers don't see it. Excelsior obviously realized that there were commandos somewhere over here sending some bombers. But bombers don't have very good vision. We'll see if Blue decides to send out an interceptor to scout for where barracks could be. The nickname uses these two helicopters from the airport. Uses these move commands to get them down in a spot where they can attack this refinery on the coast. So one of the refineries for Blue is... Certainly going to be destroyed on the next time these bombers or these helicopters show up. And Nickname's got a second airport and an airstrip. Closer to Excelsior's base. And going for only interceptors at the moment. Which makes sense since, you know, Blue's going for a pretty heavy bomber interceptor style themselves. Unfortunately for Blue, they still haven't spotted these three barracks. It'll be very difficult for bombers to get any damage done on these buildings because of all these dug-in sand positions. The best the bombers for Blue could do is possibly take out this town to the left. And both airports for Red are making interceptors at the moment. Nickname has put down a factory in the center of the map. This is starting to build artillery. Likely in a to, to set up a push that is going to happen through this mountain range at some point. Relatively soon, if we take a top-down look. Nickname now has Excelsior blocked in a little bit. And it doesn't take many Sams to fend off an interceptor. Or in this case, destroy an interceptor. So the two helicopters for Nickname stay alive for now. It's still just three tanks at a time out of the blue factories. And Excelsior's trying to make their own move through this defensive line. Which is a, a very good attempt, very good idea to try to get the tanks on top of Red's production, cause a little bit of havoc. But Nickname, between a little bit of a def the entrenchment to buy some time and then these red tanks obviously all over the blue tanks 
Nothing they can really do. Nickname's building two towns at once now on the right side of the map. And, ha and has a, a whole bunch of infantry in reserve. For when this push through the mountains inevitably happens. There's only two Sams here for Nickname. The bombers get in, do a bunch of damage, and they get out before these interceptors for red show up. Nickname now has a very sizable interceptor count. So the bombers for blue have to be a little bit careful. There's not that many interceptors for blue, so there's not that much of an escort for them when they decide to go out. At a third airport for Nickname, Excelsior is building a launch pad in this forest. The launch pad, the range certainly could destroy all these buildings for red. We'll see how that comes into play. I mean, it could also be used defensively to attack whatever army red decides to push these mountains with. But at a certain point, Nickname's just going to have more money and be able to buy this win with a horde of producers. The barracks still haven't been spotted, but Excelsior must know that there's at least steady reinforcements or production buildings on this side because this is a whole bunch of infantry and commandos for Red to have. But to Excelsior's credit, there's no sneaky commandos close to their base running around. Another bomber gets picked off. Excelsior's keeping the SAM count relatively low by this frontline entrenchment. But it'll be very difficult for Excelsior to find a way to, den to deny any of the eco that Nickname has built with all these different towns. Or for Blue to just cap back a bunch of stuff. I mean, Nickname already has the town down in the, the bottom of the map. Has a pretty sizable chunk of land in a position that you would, you know, you would feel that that Excelsior would have the first dibs on, and it's three barracks, which is quite a lot. Excelsior is going to put down two more factories, going up to six total. And now of a uh, airport in the center part of the map for nickname who has gone back to building some helicopters and some interceptors. For a little bit, I think it was all interceptors that Red was building. Fourth barracks now for nickname. Excelsior's bombers. Still a very decent blue bomber count. I suppose a, a bunch of them must have been shaved off because this is actually just four, eight bombers. And the line war music setting the tone in this game. Here comes the army for nickname. About to start pushing through this mountain range. I didn't know, but if I I feel it, somebody said it or I read it somewhere that the music in line war, it changes depending on how many units you have versus your opponent, like if it would be a, it's about to be a good fight for you versus a bad fight for you. It's pretty interesting. That went super unfortunately for blue because there's now only two more bombers left. Launch pad is done. Excelsior just now needs to wait for the 500 income required to start building the rocket. 770 income for blue, 1753 for red. Decent number of tanks for blue here. I think best case scenario, Excelsior is able to snipe this this uh, airport. But this looks like it's going to be the big push of the game. It's going to be six tanks for blue that can't quite see anything in the mountain range yet because of that stealth characteristic of the buildings. As they get closer to it, they might be able to sniff this out. 
But the question is, is there enough at home for Blue to defend this push? We know how many interceptors that nickname has that can be sent over here. There's two Sams close to the front and there's two more on the way. And this is Blue's vision. So two of the barracks have been seen incited in the forest. All the stuff in the mountain range evades detection. And the tanks are going to try to get by. This is the plan with this move command for Blue to get on top of this refinery. The problem is it's this refinery is implicitly guarded by guarded from tanks because this is where the flow of reinforcements goes for red. So just very naturally it puts nickname in a better position to be able to very quickly you know pluck some of the units out of this advancing army to deal with the tanks. The tanks might be able to get that town but they're not going to be able to get out of here necessarily. And Red's got five tanks in the forest now. I think just these infantry alone might be able to take out all of these factories. As, as blue tanks pop up, the infantry alone wouldn't have been able to do it. But even then it'd be super close. Interceptor's providing the best air support. There's no way bombers can launch into it. Excelsior only has one left at this point. And if we go top down, this is the look. And we can free camera. Feels like we're making a trailer. There's only two factories left up front. There's these two back by this depot. But it's certainly not going to be enough. Interceptors against ground units, we... We've noted before that interceptors don't do all that much damage to ground units, and then in Twitch chat, chat someone was saying, it's actually a lot more than I think it is. So let's see just how quickly these interceptors can destroy some of these infantry and commandos. Which then just opens up this army of ground units for nickname to push. And Red continues the eco up behind all of this. Which is the play. Three more towns on the way. And 740 income for Blue. 1931 for Red. And that, partly that's that eco start. Usually it says game ended. Okay. Either way, good game. Well played. 132 territories conquered for nickname off of those commando drops. And the income, I mean, it just skyrockets a little bit. Right at the, right off the bat. Right off the jump, as they say. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the Line Word Discord if you want to learn more about the game. Chat with folks. Find games in the Looking for Matches channel. Twitch.tv slash SodaQuackers if you want to watch some gameplay. Come say hello. Hang out. And again, thanks for all the support on the channel. Whether that's commenting, liking, subscribing, of course, it all helps the channel grow. Very much appreciated. Never expected or necessary. Hope you have a wonderful night, day, evening, whatever it is. Peace.